Hey everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Inksler123 and in this video I'm going to be showing you what I'm selling on eBay this week. Now if you want to bid on any of the items that you see in this video, please do. Happy bidding. I'll put the link down below to my eBay page. So just go on to there, go for items for sale and then bid, 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 bid. <laughs> Okay, so I am selling a random mix of things as ever. I've also got some things that didn't sell the first time or first few times. So I just keep relisting and relisting um, in the hope that one day they will sell. Um, so yeah, some of this stuff you wouldn't have seen, some of the stuff you you know previously would have seen. So I'm going to stop rambling and just get on with the video. This is what I'm selling on eBay this week. Batman! Okay, he's still here. He's been here a few weeks now and... Uh, He's not sold. Uh, so this is a Q-pop, Batman Q-pop. Sorry, it's not focusing. There we go. Um, so yeah, he's looking for a home, you know? Batman, you, make friends. <laughs> okay, I'm selling a few books as ever. So first one I'm selling is uh, Queen of Vaults by Amanda Foody. Uh, I can't tell you too much about this because it is uh, the last in a trilogy. So if you haven't read the other two, I don't want to kind of give any spoilers away. Um, but I can show you uh, the cover of the uh, the first two books, you had Ace of Shades and King of Fools, both really, really good. And this was the finale, so you found out what happens and all the loose ends tied up. So, yep, uh, Queen of Vaults is for sale, as is this blue, kind of electric blue headband, like a, quite a thick headband. It's got like a kind of um, like velvety, like soft velvety material, or is it velour velvet? I don't know, but that's that. Okay, I'm selling these two as a pair, and uh, they are perfumes, brand new and sealed, as you can see in the packaging. They're called Lily Petals, so they are going as a kind of little mini bundle of two. Okay, I'm also selling this book here, which I literally just finished reading this morning. This is so freaking good, this book. I give it a five out of five on Goodreads. Loved it. Jennifer Donaldson's I Know You Remember. And I won't go too much into it, but let's just say young adult, thriller, missing friend, lots of twists. Just absolutely brilliant. I did not see the ending coming. I was completely and utterly shocked. So if you like thrillers, check this one out. Really, 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 really good. The book of Zen Ink paintings is <laughs> still here. <laughs> Nothing on that one as yet. Also, the orange top from Evans is still on there, size 24. Bit of uh, football sport memorabilia here. This is a vintage 1991 shoot football annual. All the, uh, the football greats of 1991 featured in this. Got this little perfume here. This is Lily Blush. All new in the box. Okay, so basically a few months ago I bought some body shop stuff and um, I've kept some of it, especially the perfume. That was amazing. But I saw these and I thought, I've never even opened these. Like, am I likely to use them? I don't know, but I need the money, so I'm going to pop them on eBay, see if someone will want them. Uh, this is a uh, hand cream called Juicy Pear. <laughs> Do you like a nice juicy pear? As I say, brand new, not been opened or anything. And uh, some soap, some shea soap, or as I used to call it, sheer. So that's what I thought it said, but apparently it's shea. Um, obviously brand new in the packaging. Also, I'm selling these false nails, or fake nails, if you want to call them. Uh, these are originally from Primark. They're called Jelly Tots. They are um, a very sparkly kind of set, candy, Um yeah, so basically I bought loads and loads of false nails and I was just doing out a little kind of sort out the other day of my nails and I thought I could like try and sell some of these. Like, I'm not going to wear all of these now. So I have kept quite a lot of them to be fair, uh, but some of them I am going to be selling. So these are um, on there for your, for your bidding if you would like. Okay, still on there is the big old bow tie. Um, someone suggested I put in the title, oh, what was it, Mr. Timble? Mr. Jimble, I don't know. <laughs> Apparently it'd help it sell. Um, but I can't remember the name of the clown that she said. Um, but yeah, big old bow tie if you fancy being like a, a clown. There's that. Um, also a couple of books here. Looking for Alaska by John Green and My Big Fat Teen Crisis by Jenny Smith. Another book here, Look For Me by Lisa Gardner. And another book with this big eye on it uh, called Before I... Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. This is a thriller. I think it was a film as well. Um, got this dress here. 
God, I'm trying to sort of ah, get it. You can kind of see it. By the way, in these videos, it's just like a sneaky peek. If you want to see um, the actual items in more kind of detail, more information about them, better photographs, etc., go on my listings. I always put, you know, information about the items and like really clear photographs and stuff. So have a look on there. This is just a bit of a sneaky peek. But yeah, this is a size 16 dress from Primark. And uh, I love I love the colouring in this. It's kind of got some blue and pink and yellow and stuff. Um so yeah, it's been on there a few weeks and has not sold. So grab yourself a bargain. It's a lovely dress. Also, I have some playing cards. These are the 25th anniversary edition uh, Paul Le Monde Games cards. Brand new and sealed. Uh, I've also got some men's trousers. There's like a tan coloured trouser. Uh, they're straight fit and they are from Sainsbury's Waist 42. Leg is 32. Okay, so I've sold a couple of the other Star Wars t-shirts I was selling, so that's good. But this one is still on there. No one wants it. Come on. Surely you want a Star Wars Rogue One t-shirt? Or maybe as a gift for Christmas. It's pretty cool. I think it's a cool t-shirt. Size-wise, it is an XL. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, got some shoes here. These are from Primark. And then these really cute little pumps, like polka dot pumps. Or ballet, is it ballet shoe pump they call them? I don't know. <laughs> Little bow on the top there as well. I still don't get the, how this has not sold either. This has been on there a few weeks. It's an Alice in Wonderland themed purse. Is it the White Rabbit? I think. I don't, do you know what? I've never liked Alice in Wonderland. I know everyone loves it, but I just never loved it. Um, but yeah, this is such a cute purse though, even if I don't like Alice in Wonderland. I don't get why it's not selling. Like, it's so cute. Okay, so I say this every week, and they have been on there a few weeks now. Um, in England, we call this Where's Wally? But in America, you say Where's... Is it Waldo? 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 Um, so this is a little set here. You get the two, like, in the set, uh, not individual. You've got some paper cups with Where's Wally on, and you've also got the paper plates. Um, and every time I do the video, I say the same thing, that I'm looking for Wally, and I, I still haven't found him. I thought that was him over there, but it's not. <laughs> but um, really, really fun if you like Where's Wally or Where's Waldo. Um, got a couple more books. Um, this one here is called The Diamond of Jewelry Lane. I really bought it, to be fair, uh, because I love the cover. I thought the cover looked great, like the stage and everything. But when I really kind of read about what the story was think like about, I was like, mm, I just, I don't know, it just doesn't really sell my cup of tea. This was definitely a book of, you know, I bought because the cover was nice. Um, got Dark Visions. This is about vampires, I believe. You get like three books in one. Um, I've got uh, Catherine McGee's The Thousandth Floor, which I did really want to read, but unfortunately the, uh, the, the font is really small for me, so I don't think I'm going to be able to. I mean, it hasn't sold, so I don't know. If it doesn't sell this week, maybe I will give it a go, because I absolutely love Catherine McGee books, so that's like, mm, doesn't sell, I'll keep it. <laughs> then we've got Erin Kelly's He Said, She Said, another one of these books that, are, you know, is not selling, so... If it doesn't sell, you know, I just have to keep it. Um, and this, I don't get why this isn't selling. Come on. Everyone's got friends, right? You could get this from as a gift for Christmas or their birthday. It's a Forever Friends photo frame, hand-painted, brand new, in the packaging. Um, <laughs> I love the way I try and turn into this, like, market trader, trying to sell anything and everything. Um, this is a top size 16 from New Look. Really nice floral floral print uh, if you're a regular viewer you'll know why that's funny um basically cut long story short i um always somehow end up selling floral print stuff it's really weird but i, I just do um and so i always have this game where every time i say the words floral print you have a little drink obviously that doesn't have to be alcoholic and be non-alcoholic non um, it's just like a little drinking fun floral print kind of game so there you go have a drink this is a floral print top Okay, this is a bit random. I don't think it's going to sell. Oh, I mean, I hope it does, but it's been on there ages now. Uh, this is the Blackadder collection from BBC Radio. All little cassette tapes collection. So if you're a fan of Blackadder, relive the humour with Baldrick and Co. Uh, this T-shirt here is uh, from H&M. And it's Pepsi. The Pepsi logo is on here. Um, this was actually my T-shirt, and I do love it because I love Pepsi, especially Pepsi Max. But um, it's just too tight. There's no other nice way of saying it. It's because it's small. It's not an XL or large. It's a medium. So I, I probably shouldn't have bought it in the first place. But hey-ho, there you go. But um, yeah, Pepsi T-shirt is on. 
Uh, got this nice top here from South. This is a size 20 and uh, it's all sparkly. Can't really see in this light. But I should have put my camera light up really, but I could not be bothered. Um, but yeah, it's got really nice kind of floaty sleeves and it's a floaty top in general really, but it's all sparkly gold and black. Um, what else have we got? Look, this is the bag. What's in here? Okay, yeah, we've got a couple of these Pokemon figures. I can't remember the names of them again. <laughs> but um, you've got this one here. These are originally uh, McDonald's toys, so... Yeah, that's they're like collectible. I'm really surprised they didn't sell either. They've only been on there a week though, so maybe they'll sell this week. And this is the other one. This one makes a noise when you like press it. I just think that sounds like a cat purring. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, Pokemon figures. Um, we've got this orange top right here. Uh, this is from Simply B. And I can't remember what it looks red, but I can assure you it is orange, bright orange actually. It's the lighting in this room. Um, and there's all these like little, you know, things, little jewels uh, on the neckline there. Hold on, let me have a look. Okay, I've looked at the label. It is a size 18. This book was absolutely fantastic. Another young adult thriller. This is by Lois Duncan. I know what he did last summer. You've probably heard of the film or seen the film. So it is based, the film is based on the book, but the book is very different. Um, some of the characters are quite similar, etc. But there is a completely different ending and stuff. So if you're put off by thinking, well, I've seen the film, I know what happens. You don't know what happens because it's completely different. So that's on there. Um, really good book, by the way. Love that one. This is a Primark t-shirt, size 1820. It's got like a rainbow stripes. And on the front, it says, J'adore, J'adore, which is also the name of one of my favorite perfumes. Random fact for you. Uh, this is a orange jacket from Peacock's size 16. Like that focus there. Is it going to focus? There we go. It's as good as I'm going to get in this light. Um, but yeah, it's just like a nice lightweight orange jacket. Okay, got this men's uh, 2XL black kind of bomber style jacket here. That's been on there a few weeks. But now maybe it's because it's getting a bit colder. Uh, maybe I did sell another jacket last week. So maybe people are going to be like, oh, it's getting colder. I want to buy a jacket. So yeah, that is from uh, George. Obi's still on there. Look, from Star Wars, there is Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think that's how you say it. Uh, this is a little figure up the top and also uh, a puzzle as well. So, yeah, he's been on there ages. I don't know why he's not sold. I mean, the packaging is a bit damaged, as I've put in the description on the advert. Uh, however, that's, that's it. Like, the actual figure's new. The puzzle's in there. So, you know... Okay, also... Oh, I'm so sad. These things are, like, coming back every video. <laughs> also relisted again and again is this little 21 me to you bear um with a little champagne bottle there for the 21st birthday i suppose it's a hard one you know if you don't know anyone who's going to be 21 you don't want to be stuck with it but you know maybe buy a head you know if you've got a nine-year-old child just think hey yeah in a few, few years time they'll be 21 <laughs> That's ridiculous, I know. Um, Martina Cole's book now. Uh, this is the hardback and it is damaged. I've never read her. She's supposed to be good, but I just got too many other books. I wasn't going to read it. Uh, once again, another book that I had I was going to read didn't sell in instead. Midnight Sun by uh, Trish Cook. Apparently this is uh, a film as well. And the Old Faithful are back. The relisted thing. I should do an award for the most relisted item. Um, these are the weekday crafting pegs. <laughs> Brand new. Come on. I know a lot of you love your arts and crafts. Don't tell me there's not one person who wants these pegs. Think of the amazing arts and crafts you could do with them pegs. Um, once again, I can't remember his name, uh, but I, I just call him Jake. This is a kid's dressing gown. It's so fluffy and it's getting cold. You know, your child wants to be nice and warm. Hint, hint. This is for um, 18 to 24 months. And it's Disney's. I still can't remember his name. Well, I know his name, but who? Something Jake and the Pirates. <laughs> I don't know. If you've got kids, you'll know what it is probably anyway. Uh, so that's still on there. As is, um, I'm not going to take her out fully. I'll just show you the, her face. Uh, the lovely Smurfette. We've got um, a big blanket here, like a, a soft blanket. Really surprised this hasn't sold either because I know that the Smurfs is, uh, you know, are quite popular and retro. 
Um, I'll show you some new stuff in a minute. So obviously, I'm most of the stuff I'm showing you is is relisted, but um, I will show you some new stuff that you haven't seen in a moment. Um, just a few more things that have been relisted. Who wants to be a millionaire? Quiz book. This is uh, when me and my dad, Nathan, did our little quiz thing over lockdown. I think we got we got bored of it, didn't we? Um, this is Cupets. This is uh, you get an app that you can play on your phone, and the Cupet becomes like your little pet thing i don't know i'm not a gamer um and then we've got the beatrix potter knitting book do you like knitting do you like beatrix potter this is the book for you <laughs> oh i'm literally like del boy from fools and horses uh, if you've not watched fools and only fools and horses look it up on google youtube etc you'll know what i mean he's a bit of a wheeler dealer basically um okay this top is from primark and it is a size 14 16 with this like uh, pop art retro kind of uh, girls looking quite glam i do love this top it's just too tight of course stop eating cake and cheese and stuff <laughs> then it wouldn't be too tight uh this lovely little dress here it's got a lovely bow on it it's bright red in this light, it doesn't look it, but take my word for it. Um, it is from Next. I can't remember what age it's for, but there is a label somewhere. One and a half to two years. There we go. Really lovely, smart dress, especially with Christmas coming up. Imagine a lovely little girl in this beautiful red dress, swirling and dancing. I don't know. I'm trying to sell it. All right. Um, then we've got this polka dot top here. This is from... I think Peacocks. Yeah, Peacocks, size 20. Just a nice polka dot top. I was going to keep this because I liked it, but I've got so many polka dot tops. There's only so many polka dot tops a girl could want, you know. Um, this top here I got for myself um, a few months ago before the lockdown started. Um, it's from Primark, size 22, 24. Um, and it is quite funny. It says on it, stress doesn't really go with my outfit. It's a white T-shirt. Um it just looks too big on me. I got it in a bigger size because I thought it'd be quite loose and baggy kind of thing, which is sometimes I like that kind of style. Um, but it just looks silly. It just I'm so small in height and it was so long and baggy. It just looks stupid. So um, I decided to sell it. Right, I'm going to move all this out the way and I'm going to show you some new stuff. So you haven't seen this. This has uh, only gone on uh, this week. By the way, as I say, everything you see in this video is on my eBay. Go to uh, the link and go to items for sale um, and you'll see everything. So just bid, 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 bid. Right, I'm going to take this dolly out very gently. Now, this is um, a porcelain doll. Now, I know some people are scared and, and very anxious around porcelain dolls. So it's a trigger warning. If you don't like porcelain dolls, look away now and don't look back until I say you can. <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice. Uh, so this is a really beautiful doll. She's a native Indian style doll. Um, she's got a little drumstick there attached to her. And she's also got um, the certificate here of authenticity. Have I said that word right? I think I have. Um, so I tried to do a bit of research on her. There are others like this on eBay, but they did look slightly different or the colouring was different on the drum, etc. But, I mean, she's absolutely beautiful. She's so sweet. So she doesn't sell. I won't be upset. She can have a home here. She's not got nothing to worry about. Oh, she <laughs> fell over. She's like, no, I don't want to stay here. Sell me. Oh, she's sitting up now. That's right. She falls over again. That'd be creepy. Um... And also, yeah, there's there's her drum, which is quite. I think the drum's bigger than <laughs> bigger than her, to be fair. Um, it's really beautiful, especially if you collect dolls and stuff. But I will be honest with you, uh, there is a little issue with her, and that oh, I've knocked her over again. Sorry, darling. Um, sorry, darling. She hasn't got any um eyelashes, which I didn't notice when I bought her. I bought her to sell, um, because I know people collect porcelain dolls. Um, I want to try and get it to focus on her face. It's really weird. It's not focusing. What's going on? Ooh, that's creepy. There we go. So as you can see, she hasn't got any eyelashes. But I mean, to be fair, you can't really tell. She looks like she's asleep. But you can get some like, you know, little doll's eyelashes or even normal false eyelashes and kind of cut them down to size and put them on her if you, if you do want, if you're a collector and stuff. Um, she's really like, not squishy, but not hard. It's really weird to describe. Like her body is not rock hard it's got material and stuff um but her face is obviously hard and stuff but um yeah i love her little little hat and everything so yeah she is on there and of course um the box is here okay so i know life is a bit kind of doom and gloom at the moment there's so much stress in the world right now isn't there with everything going on um but you know what you should do you should have fun at home 
in lockdown, uh, even not in lockdown, after lockdown's finished. Have fun in your home and host your own 70s evening. Yes, have a 70s party. This is a brand new sealed box and it's a uh, host your own 70s evening and you get all different bits and pieces inside. Uh, it says bring home the magic, the taste, the atmosphere and the music. This just looks so cool. If this was an 80s one, I would have kept it, I'm not going to lie, but... Like, I did like aspects of the 70s. I liked a bit of the disco music and stuff and a little bit of the fashion. I was more, you know, more of an 80s kind of person. But uh, if you are a fan of the 70s, this could be coming your way. There's all different bits included in here. Um, do, 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 do. I think you get a CD. You get a CD. You get a, a, a little, well, some CDs with music. The other ones with quiz games. You get recipes for making food that were like popular in that era. Um, name tags. No, that's cool. You get name tags, like 70s themed name tags. Uh, plus, pin the medallion on the medallion man. <laughs> that would actually be really funny. So I think this is a great, great thing for someone having a little, uh, just a small little gathering. Or, hey, you know, have it on your own. Just have a gathering on, on your own and celebrate the 70s. Um, next up, this big fluffy jumper. Cool, this is so fluffy and just snug. Um... This is a size 18 from Primark, and it's kind of like, I don't know what colour it is. I put cream on the um, listing, but I think it's more cream oyster, maybe, oystery colour. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, really, really fluffy. I'm selling some more playing cards. These are brand new and sealed, uh, like the others were. But these are Guinness ones, you know, the drink Guinness. So these are quite rare-ish and collectible. So um, I hope they sell well um what else have we got in here dragging everything out okay so i've got this floral top have a drink uh, <laughs> floral top from daxon this is size 18 it's really weird whenever i put stuff from daxon on they sell really well so there must be a rush on for like daxon stuff um yeah also ah everything's coming out this dress is a size 16 from h&m it's very dainty and pretty i don't know why i'd visualize someone wearing this and just having a cup of tea maybe in a biscuit i don't know ignore me what am i talking about <laughs> who knows who knows what goes on in my mind right we've got a small polka dot here this is a size 18 shirt blouse whatever you'd like to call it uh from new look uh inspire range which is their plus size range so uh yeah once again was gonna keep this one but got too much polka dot already uh this top is from pep and co it's a size 20 and as you can see it's stripy and what colors have we got here we've got purple white black um really tempted to keep that one as well actually <laughs> but i've just got like similar things to that so it just seems silly to you know keep buying stuff that's similar to what i've already got uh this dress is from marks and spencers hold on this is a size 16 you can see it is what well, I think it is a floral print, so have a drink. It's kind of floral. I don't know. Do you think that's floral? Maybe. A little bit. Have a half a drink for that one. Um, <laughs> okay. Next up, we have... Oh, no, this is definitely floral, so get your, get your glasses, or if you're having a coffee or tea, or hot chocolate, I don't know, uh, get your cups ready. This is um, from New Look, I think, this one. Yep, there we go. New Look, this is a size 18. And uh, it's a lovely green colour, like an olive green, with, as I say, the floral print. Uh, we've got a Christmas themed jumper here. I did really well last week. I sold, um, yeah, I think I sold all my Christmas jumpers and the elf slippers. Both pairs of elf slippers I had sold, so that's good. Um, but now we've got another Christmas jumper here. This is from uh, Papaya, which is Matalan, and it's a size small, bright red and fluffy with a really cute fluffy and sparkly penguin on it wearing a christmas hat so that is on there by the way everyone if you are enjoying the video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up really appreciate that um i don't know why but apparently it's good for your channel if you get thumbs up plus to be fair it makes my ego big because i think oh people like me instead of hating me <laughs> there's nothing worse than going on your video and see like loads of thumbs down who wants that? Seriously. I mean, I know I've got my troll that instantly I put a video on and I get like seven thumbs down within a minute. So I know, I know that. But in general, I hope people do enjoy watching my content. So if you do, um, please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, anyway, moving on. 
Little Miss. We've got a puzzle here, 45 pieces in this puzzle. And it's Little Miss Sunshine. She's having a picnic with all her buddies. This is super cute. I have always loved Little Miss. I think there's something so adorable about Little Miss. So, uh, yeah. And um, Mr. Men as well. Uh, we've got some colouring books now. We've got a vintage Tom and Jerry one. Love little Tom and Jerry. Look, so super cute. And then we've got uh, Dora and Friends. Dora. Dora the Explorer. Uh, into the City. I never watched Dora. I think that was a bit after my time. My age kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, then we've got one with Mickey and Minnie colouring book. That's pretty cute if you like your Disney and stuff. And then we've got this one here, Disney Pixar's The Good Dinosaur. I've never seen The Good Dinosaur, but it looks super sweet. Um, I did have an Aristocats one as well, but I kept it for myself because <laughs> I am naughty. I'm like, I'm not giving the Aristocats away. Uh, okay, this is a really cool fancy dress outfit. Now, I know it's not Halloween, in, uh, Halloween anymore, but look, kids love dressing up all the time, right? They don't dress up at Halloween. So this is the uh, from the world of David Williams, and it's I think it's from Sainsbury's. I think they did this because I recognise their labelling. But there, it's for a seven to eight-year-old. And it's, um, I think it's Gangster, Gangster Granny, is it? Now, I really like David Williams. I think he's a really nice guy. And I haven't read his books because they're too young for me. Um, but I do know of his books and some of the stories he's done and stuff. And they just sound really good fun. And to be fair, you know, anyone who encourages kids to read, I give respect to because, you know, you should start reading at an early age. Anyway, I don't know where that's all gone. Went to like some deep sermon. You should all read books. <laughs> Anyway, um, but yeah, this is from Gangster Granny and it's such a cool freaking outfit. I love it. You've got the sparkly bit here at the bottom. Um, you've got like the, the purple cardigan. You've got the, the fake necklace to look like beads around it, which is cute. You've got the little cameo there, which is adorable. I really love that cameo. I've got a cameo somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, you've got like the little floral print. Have a drink. <laughs> floral print under there. Really cool outfit. So if your uh, child likes dressing up, then and they like David Williams. This is a bargain. Go get it. Is there anything else in this bag? Oh, there is. This is. Oh, I know what this is. I wrapped it up in newspaper to kind of protect it. Um, okay, who likes the Joker? And I don't mean me because I'm a Joker. <laughs> I mean from Batman. <laughs> That's a really bad joke. Joker. Um, yeah, this is the Joker mug, but it's quite a big mug. I mean, look at it compared to the size of my hand. I mean, you could have this as just a coffee mug or tea, but you could put like soup in that, I reckon. It's quite a big, large mug. Um, really cool if you're into um, the comic book stuff and the Joker. That is your new mug, maybe. Drink your hot drinks out of it. Right, we've got a top here. This is a size 14. Um, I think this is from Primark. I remember rightly um it's got like this really cool like effect of um like it's got chains over it like necklaces and stuff it's really cool i used to have a top like this like little tassels and stuff um but yeah nathan absolutely hated it <laughs> and every time i wore it like i just felt really uncomfortable because i knew he hated it so like, he's not the sort of guy to be like, you're not wearing that. He's not like that. But you know when you know someone really hates what you're wearing? It just always made me feel really uncomfortable. So I just I just got rid of it in the end. Um, but I, I still like this style. And if you do, then you should buy it for yourself. <laughs> okay. Right, next up we have this book here. Poem for the Day, number two. I sold number one ages ago. And this is book number two. Um, full, filled with uh, lovely poems. For a day um what have we got over here oh they're the um the zingle berry figures uh, i have been selling a few here and there but they're still like a bag full of the figures that haven't sold hold on turn that one around these are so cute they've all got this kind of style uh this one says my special sister walking on the brick wall there they're so adorable um but they're just yeah I've, i sold a few but these ones are still on there as you can see so i think what i'm gonna do if they don't sell they'll have to like just go in the garden or something i couldn't get rid of them because they're lovely um oh, that one's empty i think that's about it um make sure oh no i've got this cardigan hold on ah. um <laughs> <laughs> sorry oh the whole, look at this i've got to tidy all this up soon that should be fun uh right this is a cardigan um i think it's a size 
20 from Daymart. And it's a uh, pink and white, like dog tooth or hound tooth, whatever you call it. I call it dog tooth. Um, yeah, size wise, it says long. Oh, it's 18 to 20 on the label. Um, but yeah, it's really soft and warm and dog tooth, hound tooth. So that's on there. Um, so yeah, as I say, if you want to bid on anything, please do. Links down below to my eBay page. Go to items for sale. Bid, 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 bid. Um, if you also want to make any offers on things, like if you see something that you really like the look of and you're like, I don't want to wait a week for this to end the listing, I am just want to make an offer. You know, if it's a generous offer, like if I think, yeah, that's, you know, a fair enough price for what that item is, I'll definitely accept. I've been accepting offers in the last like few weeks and stuff. So if you see something you really want before anyone kind of grabs it, just make me an offer and you know we can come to an agreement um so feel free to do that um there's other bits and pieces on there as well like tarot card readings angel card readings so if you'd like me to read your tarot or angel cards i do it in an email format so you know you, once you've paid i can just send you an email you can get a one card reading a three card reading or like a week ahead spread reading kind of thing so feel free um to do that I think, I think that's about it. Yeah, got some things to post tomorrow. Um, I was in the post office this morning and literally I had like 25 parcels. <laughs> you can imagine the queue behind me. Oh my God, the people give me such daggers. The looks, ooh. Um, but it's got to be done. You know, people buy stuff, I've got to post it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I uh, I done that this morning. So I'll, I'll have more things to post tomorrow. Um but yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. Sorry. Listen, thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, uh, smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I've uploaded new content, doing live streaming, uh, to which I'll be doing lots more live streams now. Um, you know, so expect live streams, different times of the day. I try and do that so, you know, people around the world can catch me live in the morning, evening, lunchtime, that kind of thing. So uh, look out for my live stream. But to know when I'm live, you've got to have that bell smashed to all notifications don't miss out uh, if you want to become a channel member please do press the join button now and uh, you can become a member of the one two three family which uh, you get channel perks and uh, also yeah you get to support the channel and become a member which uh, i think is pretty awesome <laughs> <laughs> if you want to come follow me on social media I'm Inxlaura123 on Twitter and Instagram is Minxlaura123 um, and I think that's it oh actually no, my other channel how can I not promote my other channel, what's wrong with me um, Minxlaura123 ASMR, if you want to uh, get some videos to help you relax, chill sleep, just you know nice and calm if you're feeling anxious or anything uh, let me help you out on my other channel link is down below to that Minxlaura123 ASMR <laughs> all right everyone listen i'm gonna go i've got a lot of tidying up today wish me luck um yeah that's it take care and uh, i hope to see some of you bidding on my stuff haha -ha. hint hint all right take care bye bye